Hey guys, welcome back, and in this tutorial we're going to continue some of the looping statements, and in this case we're going to be using the while loop, which is very similar to the for loop that we just went through, and actually after this tutorial you'll probably be like, holy cow, that's the same thing that the for loop does, and actually you can basically you turn a while loop into a for loop, you can turn a for loop into a while loop, there's going to be some cases where you'll want to use a for loop over a while loop, but you could do the same on both ways. So as we get going through here, you'll kind of understand what the benefits are to each one, and uh, we'll work through that together. But anyways, we're going to do what we did similar to the last tutorial, where we're going to set A equal to 0. And the while loop is basically comprised of one condition. And this condition is going to be put in here as a parameter within the parentheses, whereas the for loop had three parameters that we'd established initial value, then we also had the condition, and then we had the expression that was going to happen afterwards. In this case, we're just going to have the condition. So we're going to put something like a, as long as a is less than, whoops, wrong one, less than or equal to 7, this next part of the statement's going to happen. The next programming statement's going to happen. So right now it's set to 0, so we've got our initial value similar to the for loop. We've got our condition. So this loop is going to run continuously as long as a is less than or equal to 7. Now we're going to have a few program statements here. And now to have a few program statements, we're actually going to put in some curly braces. Without the curly braces, you could only have one program statement, and that would execute. This allows us to put multiple program statements on these lines as long as it's within the curly braces. And all of the program statements will happen as long as we're in the loop here. All right. So the first one that we're going to do is we're going to print to screen our integer there and we're gonna put the line break in there and we're gonna tell it to print our variable a so the first one it should come up is zero similar to the program there but the one thing that we haven't established is we haven't established the expression for a so if we run this right now let's go ahead and, and run it you'll see that we get a bill there and that's probably because I don't have a semicolon there so we're gonna run it again and you'll see that it's just repeating zero. It's actually in um, it's actually in a loop that will never end, and that's probably not good for a computer. But it hasn't failed yet. So what I'm going to do is quickly, quickly change this so I don't blow up my computer. We're going to add the expression that we did similar to our other program, where we put a plus plus, or that's basically a plus one. So we're going to increase this value by one every time to eventually end that loop. So let's go ahead and run that before it blows up our computer. And you see we get the same results as if we had the for loop from zero to seven. And uh, But essentially we set, we set the initial value here, we evaluated it based on a condition, and then we also took that um, initial value and we increased it by one every time. All right, so you're thinking, cool, that's, uh, that's kind of like the for loop. Let's uh, go and actually apply it to something now. So what we're going to do is we're going to take five numbers and we're going to find the average of those five numbers. We're going to do that by first setting up a few variables. So this is going to be our count and this is going to allow us to see if we put in five numbers or if we only have three. So we're going to set that equal to one first because one, two, three, four, we're going to have five total. So we're going to start at one. And then we're going to also put in a variable for numbers. And numbers is basically going to take whatever data the person puts in there. So if they put in 10, then 5, it's going to take those and start adding them for us. We're also going to set up another variable called total, which that's going to hold all of the numbers together and then eventually divide by our, our, our whatever five numbers to get our average. And then we're going to have an average as well. And we're going to put this, uh, the data type and the average as a float, just in case there are some very, some decimal places that come about. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to take our while loop, and we're going to put a statement similar to what we did in the last uh, while loop, is count is less than or equal to 5, okay? Because like I said, we're going to evaluate five, we're going to evaluate five numbers that the person puts into those systems. And so we've, we're starting with 1, so 1's going to be 1, 2's going to be 2, 3, so on and so forth, until it hits 5. Once it hits 5, it's not going to accept any other numbers from our user at this point. 
So now we're going to put in some curly braces because we're going to have a few different statements here. The first being we're going to prompt the user saying something like enter uh, number. And what we're going to do in this case is we're going to put a number sign and we're going to put percent i, all right, with a colon just so they know where it's going. And we're going to relay the count. So when this first prompts them, it's, it's going to say enter number and it's going to look to the count and it's going to say enter number one all right so they know what number they're on it's going to say that uh, in the next statement it's going to say enter number two and so on and so forth as long as we write it correctly and we're also going to pull in their user input with the scanf function here and so we're going to pull in the integer and don't forget your ampersand sign and we're going to assign whatever they put into the computer as their number, the numbers that we're gonna that we're gonna total up, and then we're gonna divide by the total amount of numbers that we pulled in, and so we'll move on to the next thing there. So then we're gonna take all their numbers, and we're gonna set it equal to the total. We're basically gonna be adding all these numbers together and setting them to the total here. Okay, so the first number will come in, and it'll be like and it'll be like uh, 10 or something like that. So that 10 is going to add to the total, which the total we're just going to set to 0 for now. So 0 plus 10 equals 10. So now our total is equal to 10. All right, then it's going to prompt them for number number for the second number there. Second number is, let's say, 15. So the 15 comes in plus the 10 that's already in there. So now our total is equal to 25. So you see how that's working so far within the loop? The last thing that we're going to do is we have to exit this loop at some given point. And you see here we're going to exit it when it hits 5. So once the users put in 5 numbers. So essentially what we need to do is we need to increase our count by 1 every time. So we're going to use the count plus plus to increase that count value. All right. So now once we have the total and we've exited our loop here, our while loop, once this hits the fifth number that they've received, it's going to exit the loop and it's going to go down here to the next statement that we're going to put in. And that is essentially, we're going to establish our average variable as the total divided by, and in this case we're not going to do it programmatically, we're just going to put five because we know we're going to have five numbers coming in. And then what we're going to do is we're going to print this out to the screen something like average equals percent f now remember we uh, the average is going to be a float value so we're going to use percent f there and in this case we're going to be calling the uh, calling for the average variable all right so that is going to be our program so we're going to run that see if we did everything correctly so now it's asking the us for our number one we're going to put in 10 enter number two we're gonna put in 15 number three 50 number four 40 number five let's put in like 70 and we should get what is the average of all of these five together which is 37 I'm not gonna check that because I don't even know but uh, that sounds about right so essentially what we've did what we what we did is we had a while loop that counted the number of inputs that we have starting with one the first one here goes through and it prompts us for a number we input a number that number goes in and adds to the total of our program very vari our variable program here total every time it comes to here the count increases so now we're on count number two enter number count number two we enter number it goes in totals once it gets to five it exits the loop the average comes here and the average is our total, which was totaling in here, divided by the total number of numbers to find the average. And then we simply output the average of those numbers and the total there. So that's just like a little program you guys can make to fully, fully understand kind of the while loop. You can still do it with the for loop and all that stuff. So we'll catch you guys in the next tutorial.